Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video here on the channel. That's right, another wonderful video here on the channel. Today we're here in Ponytown once again. That's right, Ponytown. And once again, I'm going to be talking about more things that you probably didn't know you could do in Ponytown. Or just different facts. Now some of these are just going to be straight up facts um, and not necessarily things you didn't know you could do in Ponytown, that sort of thing. Uh, so get ready and uh, stick around to the end so you can see all of these wonderful facts and everything like that. And uh, please just, you know, consider subscribing and everything like that. I, us I usually don't like ask people to subscribe at the beginning of videos because I usually do that for the end. But um, I, I noticed recently on my analytics that like 80% of people that have been watching my videos have not subscribed. So please do that because it would be wonderful and it is the fastest way to become wonderful. Uh, so with all of that out of the way, let's jump right into the video. You can play Ponytown on an Xbox One, but not on a PS4. However, you can customize ponies on either. This seems like a joke, but you can legitimately play Ponytown on Xbox One. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I really need to put up footage of this, but as you can see in this footage, uh, I am literally playing Ponytown on an Xbox One. Uh, now, I don't know if this works on like Xbox 360 or if it works on a Switch or anything like that, but it does work on an Xbox One uh, and it does not work on a PS4. For whatever reason, PS4 does not have the proper hardware to run this game, which is a very, it's, it's very, very funny to me. But you can customize ponies on either so there's that at number two you can get stuck in these barrels if you have wings that's right this is another place on the map that you can get to if you have wings now this is another place that only winged creatures can get to i did say in the very first um uh, pony town did you know you could do this video uh that this is the only spot I, I mentioned how there's this one spot that only winged creatures can get to and it's the only spot on the map that winged creatures can get to uh, but there's also this spot here so I really really want to mention that in this video that there's also a spot here this is this is basically a correction uh, so yeah there's that at number three here this one's probably gonna be a bonus one but at number three here I just want to mention real quick that if, if you play during October you know during the autumn kind of season there are gravestones across the map throughout the map and some of them will actually have have ghosts that sort of pop out randomly uh, during during just like random intervals. So um, there's that as well. I just thought I'd go ahead and mention that one uh, because it's, it's a pretty small one. I probably should have saved it for the end, but I, I went ahead and, and mentioned it now because it's not on my list, but I, I thought of it and I don't want to forget it. Here we go, continuing on on the list. Uh, if you approach a pony with some grapes or if a pony, you know, with grapes in their mouth approach you, if you boop them while sitting or standing, you will actually take grapes from their, their like, mouth you will literally you will literally take grapes off the vine and put them in your mouth and you'll have a little grape now uh, I, I this this was part of the types of ponytown players video where i mentioned that the, the type whatever was the grapists and they'll come up to you and then they'll have grapes whatever and ask you for a grape and stuff like that like what are in those grapes you know uh so um i i, I mentioned in that and for some reason i just like it just like because I put it in that video, I just figured that like that was like something a lot of people knew. But I don't think a lot of people actually do know this. So if you want to play around with um you know the grapes, it is actually possible to steal all of the grapes from a pony. So if they're sitting there AFK for a while and they have they have grapes in their mouth, you can literally come up there and take all of the grapes so that they're no longer holding anything. And this honestly is a very very nice small detail that Ponytown added that just makes the game a lot better. You can also use it as like a scoring system if you really wanted to. Uh, so that might be something I talk about in the future. Who really knows? According to the change log, the limit for hiding players is 1,000. The limit on friends is 100, and the party size limit is 30. Now, these these are some some numbers that I actually had to go kind of deep in the change logs to find. Uh, the, the, and it was it was actually really fun to kind of find this and realize that you can hide basically the entire lobby. I don't know what would happen if you did that, but you can hide up to a thousand players. So that means you can hide almost entire lobbies because there are cases where you know the servers will only have like a thousand people or like 350 people or like 500 people or something like that so it's entirely possible to hide all of the players on on the server you know you have to go through all 1000 of them but you can do it and i think that's really funny now the limit on friends is 100 this personally i i don't really like that there's a limit on it but it kind of makes sense you know they don't want to have like all of this 
like infinite friend lists and stuff like that because you know that would that would obviously make it very hard to manage anyway but ha having a limit at 100 that's kind of interesting i do think that there should be um patreon rewards which there probably is uh that allow you to have you know a, a, a bigger friend size limit uh and the party size limit again another patreon reward that i think could be good is if they increase the party size limits but that, again that's i don't know if that's actually a thing because i'm not a patreon member but uh the party size limit is at 30 i find this very interesting as well uh i did i did only meet one other person ever that said that they had 20 people in a single party at once um i don't know if they knew what the limit was but the party size limit is 30 so if you want to have this big epic party with like 100 people you really can't do it because you can only have 30 people at once uh it does make sense for this as well because you don't want uh for example at like 100 people on your party island because if you put 100 people inside that little house i imagine a lot of things will start going wrong very fast so uh this is something very interesting that i thought i that i that, that, I, that you would want to know Moving on, you can change tools in the house by holding shift, then scrolling with the mouse wheel. This, when I learned this, I, my mind was blown. Like, this makes things so much faster to like, oh man, I, I accidentally put this here. I don't want that there. Uh, let me let me switch over to the, the eraser tool, the little brush tool, and, and get rid of it. But now they have something even better. They have a proper undo redo. Now, if you ever place something by mistake, or if you, if you did like three things or, or a handful of things in a row that you didn't really like, you can actually um, control Z that and just start erasing things. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a really cool thing. I, I love that there's an undo button. There's also an action for an undo redo. So if you wanted to, and you didn't, if you're on mobile or something like that, and you don't, you don't, you're not on PC or laptop or anything like that, you can actually go to your your menu, your action bar, and everything like that. The little settings for that. Go over to house, and then they're they're going to be at the top somewhere. Uh, so you can actually go back in time with this. You can also change the tools that you're holding by holding shift and then scrolling with the mouse wheel that's also very very handy uh not necessarily something that you can do as a mobile player but uh this is or or an xbox one player <laughs> but we go we go back full circle um but this is very interesting and i think it will help a lot of people moving on uh you can press e on a pc to pick things up now if you're next to an apple or uh, a candy or something like that and you want to pick it up you can press e and it will pick it up for you uh so this is this is uh, a really good uh, feature that I, that I like because it makes people Picking things up a lot faster. Someone actually told me this in my um, Ponytown Candy Challenge. They commented that you know if you want to get it faster, you can press E while while walking to it, and you'll pick it up instantly. And this is a really really good tip for people that are trying to do like candy races or candy challenge like I did, or some kind of clover race thing, or if they're just trying to get things as fast as possible to pick this up. It's just very efficient. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna do it for the um, the the whole video and everything like that. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like subscribe share you know do those wonderful things because when you do those wonderful things you get access to wonderful content such as this but that's not all you get you also get to become wonderful yourself and i think we all want that so do those wonderful things and until next time stay wonderful I kind of went through that intro so fast that I forgot to mention that uh, I do I do plan on doing another um, Ponytown Did You Know This kind of video, uh, but I did just finish through my list of things that I've written down, so I'm going to have to I'm going to have to resort to actually taking in comments from people that uh, that want to say something that maybe not a lot of people know as well. I'm I'm going to have to kind of start searching a little bit harder for this, so it may be a while before another Did You Know video comes out. Uh, I know that these last two videos probably came out pretty fast I don't know how fast they came out next to each other um, but that's because the second one I had for a little bit longer than I probably should have uh, but I haven't been uploading it because there's been a lot, a lot of other things to upload so I haven't really uploaded it yet so that one should be live now obviously and then of course this one's gonna be live they're probably only gonna be a week apart and the reason they're a week apart is because of this that because I've been pushing that video back so far for so long because I've had more relevant things to talk about now anyway with all of that said please 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 do those wonderful things like I mentioned earlier because you can become wonderful and we all want that anyway uh, until next time, stay wonderful, guys.